Welcome back everybody. Moving on to the next question, given the revenue and cost function below. So we got revenue here, cost over here. Got to find the maximum revenue and profit and the X value that maximizes both. So they're asking for the maximum revenue and the maximum profit. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find the maximum revenue. So when they're asking for maximum revenue, you only use the revenue function given. You don't worry about the cost. So to find the maximum revenue here, we can just complete the square. Positive 12x divided by negative 2 gives us negative 6x. Divide that by 2, negative 3 squared gives us 9. So we have negative 2x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9. Take out the negative 9, multiply by negative 2, which would give us positive 18. And then this here complete the square like that. So what's the vertex here? Vertex is 3 and 18 for the revenue. So that means the maximum revenue is 18. Now whether that's in millions or thousands, we're not sure in this question, but maximum revenue is 18 and the x value that maximizes revenue is what? Three. Whether that's units sold or something else, we don't know. We're just asking for the arbitrary X value that maximizes the revenue. All right, so that's how you find the maximum revenue. You just use the revenue function. You don't use the cost function at all. Notice how we didn't even touch this. However, what if they're asking for the maximum profit? Well, then it is different because profit is equal to what? Revenue minus cost. So we have to combine these two functions. We have to take the revenue function, negative 2x squared plus 12x, and we've got to subtract the cost function, which is 4x plus 5. And you want to make sure if they give you a function for the cost, you want to subtract that whole function that has to be in brackets because you're subtracting that whole cost. And then you would distribute this negative 1 inside the bracket. So you'd have profit equals negative 2x squared. 12x minus 4x gives us positive 8x. This would be minus 5, like that. Right? So from here, we can just complete the square, x squared, 8x divided by negative 2 gives us negative 4x. And this is minus 5. So I just factored out the negative 2 from these two, completing the square for the profit to find the maximum profit. Continuing this up here, profit equals negative 2 x squared minus 4x, we would take half of negative 4, square it, which would give us positive 4 minus 4, minus 5. Then take out the negative 4, multiply by negative 2, which would give us um, positive 8. This would be minus 5. So this here factors into x minus 2 squared, and this is positive 3. Right, so the vertex for the profit function is 2 and 3. So um, what's happening here? Well, we have a maximum profit of 3, and the x value that maximizes profit is 2. And notice that the x value that maximizes profit is different than the x value that maximizes just the revenue. Because profit, we have to take into account the cost as well. There's like another uh, factor to take into account. So it makes sense that that x value is going to be different. So max profit 3, and that happens at an x value of